Hey friends, if you are into end-to-end -end testing features that are behind a login wall, you probably discovered that every Playwright test case comes with its own browser context. And that's a feature so that all the tests are not interfering with each other. But it also means that your test suite will log into your app over and over again. In this video, I will show you how you can use Playwright project dependencies and storage state to save some state, save some work, and make your end-to-end -end tests run faster. Let's go. Let's look at an example test case. Here we have a Playwright test that is called home dashboard loads, and it defines a test step that then logs into our very own Checkly web app. It navigates to app checklyhq.com, it fills out the login form, clicks login, and then it checks if the home button in the top left corner of our own web app is visible. To then continue with the important instruction to check if the home dashboard table is visible. Let's see if this test case works. If we now head into the terminal and we type npx playwright test dash dash UI, we can enter UI mode and follow all these actions in real time. Let's run our test case and Playwright will now spin up a headless browser and we're seeing here on the right side that it's filling out the login form. And here we have the Checkly web app showing us all these Playwright test cases running on a schedule as synthetic monitors. And because we grouped all our login instructions into a test step, we see that it took roughly five seconds to log into the Checkly web app. And for a single test case, this isn't a big deal. But you can imagine when we add more features to this test suite, every test case will have to perform these login instructions spending another five seconds because every test run comes with its own browser state and context. Wouldn't it be great if we could log in once and then share the login session, the browser state with all the following test cases? Let's bring it in. To make that work, we have to implement two things. First, we have to find a way to run Playwright instructions before our actual test cases to perform the login step. And then after these instructions have run, we need to persist the browser state to disk to define, read them out, and set them in our test cases. Let's head over to our Playwright config and see how this project is set up. When you bootstrap a new project, the project's configuration is usually used to control and configure different browser settings but you can use it for so much more. You could define different default values, different test matching patterns, different configurations. Projects help you to group your tests and apply different settings to different tests. In our case here, we have a project that is called Behind Login, and it uses all the default settings and uses Desktop Chrome. Let's add another project here to our Playwright setup and call it Setup. And we want to use the same browser default settings here. So we want to also use desktop Chrome, but we want to match different files in this project. And we're going to go for files that end with setup.ts. So we have now two projects. We have behind login that uses the test match default property, which is spec.ts.js or something in that area. And we have our new setup project that is only running files that end with setup.ts. So let's define a new test file and let's call it login setup.ts. And quick and easy, I will just copy everything over that I have in our product spec.ts file. So let's go here, let's do paste. And what I want to do here is I really just want to include the login instructions here. And I will also remove the test step for now because we have now our own Playwright test file that really just performs the login step. Additionally, I will rename the Playwright test function to setup so that when I'm jumping through files and accidentally end up in a setup file that I know immediately that I'm looking here at something that includes setup instructions. Let's see what happens now when we go to the terminal and we call npx Playwright tests. Here we see that Playwright is spinning up two workers running these two tests. The two test files defined in our two projects are running in parallel. And to make these two projects run after another, we can go into our behind login project and we can say that we want to define some dependencies and we want to have the setup project, which we have here above, to run before the behind login project. When we now head back to the terminal and we run npx playwright tests again, you see that playwright is only using one worker because it's figuring out 
that there are two projects with two test files and they should run sequentially and after another. And with this, we finished our first to-do running Playwright instructions as setup step. And now we only have to find a way to pass the browser state from our login setup TS file over to product spec TS. So let's head in and call await page context storage state. And here we can define a path, which will then be used to write the entire browser state to disk. I prefer to put it into auth and let's call it login JSON. So let's run npx playwright test again and let's see what happens. So it's still using one worker running things sequentially, but now we see that there's a new auth directory and it now includes our login JSON. And when we inspect the file, we will find that playwright logged into the Checkly web app in our login setup step, but also then because we called storage state, captured all the cookies and all the local storage entries that were present after we logged in. And if you now wonder why all these values here are just three dots, I cleaned up the login JSON file to not have any session data here on video. And now that we have all the cookies and local storage entries, we can go back to our Playwright config and we can go into our behind login project to then define that when these tests run, we want to have a storage state of, guess what? It is our new auth login JSON. And with this, these tests will have a head start because they already have all the required cookies and local storage entries to enter the login world application. Let's do some cleanup before we test it out. So now we can go back into our product spec TS file and we can pretty much remove everything from here, but the page go to call because all these actions will be covered by our setup step. So let's get rid of this one. And also we can go back, I just noticed this, go back into our login setup TS and we can rename our setup test case here to write login session data. And when we now enter UI mode a final time, we have here our setup step, here we have our product spec. And when we now run home dashboard loads, which now only includes two instructions, we will see that it's first of all, running our project dependency, trying to log in, writing the session data to disk, and then performs our Playwright test case, which is now super speedy. But of course, now you don't want to run the setup steps all the time because you have already written your storage state. You can then go into the projects configuration and turn off the setup project. And when we now run home dashboard, you will see that it will just work because we already performed the setup instructions. And if you now add more tests that all need to be logged in, you will save five seconds for every test run because you can perform the login instruction once and then just reuse all these juicy cookies and local storage entries. And I think this is a pretty sweet deal. And with that, we made it to the finish line. If you want to learn more about Playwright projects or storage state, of course, the Playwright docs are the place to go. And if you want to learn more about Playwright, make sure to check our Playwright Tips playlist here on YouTube. We already have over 30 videos and we're not going to stop. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments or requests for new videos, drop them below. And always remember, if you're investing your time in testing your sites end to end with Playwright, you might want to check out Checkly to use Playwright for synthetic money chart. And that's it. I will see you soon.